welcome to tech in fever and today we are going to do an update to the sony a7r5 firmware so you can see that my recently purchased camera the a7r5 is having the firmware 1.0 To install the firmware, first you have to remove the memory card. Make sure that you have formatted the memory card in slot 1 of your camera and once you have taken out the memory card, put it into the laptop. Maybe you have a MacBook or the Windows PC, just put it into the card slot there. Please note that you must be registered in the Sony site before you do this activity because that has its own advantages. If you don't do that, it's okay, you can download the firmware, but I would recommend that you register yourself into this website. So once you are there on the website and you have logged in, just click on the download button. You can see there are a few instructions on how to install the firmware. What are the details or the changes that this firmware would do to your camera. Make sure that you have read the instructions correctly. And it's very important that your battery is charged more than 90%. I would recommend it to be full charged because you don't want to mess up your camera firmware at any point of time. So now you can accept all the agreements and end user licenses and download the firmware. Once you hit the download button, your firmware download should start. The version 2 firmware for A7R Mark 5 is approximately 910 megabits. So Please have patience and it would get downloaded. And now that your firmware is downloaded, it's time to copy it into the memory card that you have inserted into the slot in your laptop. Just copy and paste the firmware. Make sure that you don't have any firmware file, previous firmware file inside the camera. Once the file is copied to the memory card, eject the memory card from the laptop and put it into the camera body. And go to version upgrades in the firmware and now you will see that the firmware option is enabled which will enable you to install and upgrade your firmware. So now you have a software update button over there click on that and you will see that it will take a couple of minutes for the upgrade to be completed please have patience while the upgrade is being done to the camera Usually firmware updates are accompanied with a lot of bug fixes and certain times certain new enhancements or features are added to the camera bodies. So it's essential that you keep your camera upgraded. Once your firmware upgrade has started, you will see that there is a red blinking LED on the camera body that indicates that your firmware is being upgraded. It would blink faster as it nears completion of the firmware upgrade. After a couple of minutes, you will see that your camera will reboot and the new firmware upgrade message would be flashed or probably you'll have to go inside the system and check it manually to see that version 2 is now reflected on your camera you can see that it 
makes the camera as a new version that was like when you took it out of the box. It's a good idea to again format the memory card so that the firmware file gets deleted from it because you don't want to redo that installation accidentally in a future point of time. So it's better to format the card and then utilize it for your photographics and videographic needs. I hope you like this video. If you like my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. More stuff related to cameras coming up so stay tuned to this channel.